Former Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould has given her testimony, and it was filled with serious allegations of inappropriate pressure from the Prime Minister's office in the case of snc Lavalin. Joining us right now is a political science professor at Simon Fraser University, Patrick Smith. What, what are your first impressions? How damaging is this for the, the current government? Uh, I think the Prime Minister and the people around the Prime Minister calculated that allowing uh, the, the former minister to speak would uh, lessen the pressure. But I think she's left enough questions and concerns that linger that this is going to be a story that goes on and on. Do you think the current government will be able to withstand this? Certainly in the short term they will, because they have a majority in the House and the elections in the fall, and so they're going to make it through the fall. But the question is, will they make it with costs? And I think they will make it with costs. I mean, the Prime Minister may well have been right that if SNC leave Quebec, uh, that he, he bears a political cost in Quebec, but also uh, Ms. Wilson-Raybould is a member of parliament for BC. He's got BC issues with Trans Mountain Pipeline and other kinds of things. And these things could compound out here. So you could have different compoundings that both take a bite out of the Prime Minister's bum. That's an interesting point, the differences between some issues happening in Quebec, say, versus out here on the West Coast. Uh, is this going to resonate evenly across the country? I don't think everywhere, but I think to me that uh, the, the two main opposition parties are both of a mind that this is a story with, with legs and uh, it's going to, uh, they're going to continue to, to make hay with it. I, if I mix my metaphors there. And, you know, that, that kind of brings us to what happens now that this is all out in the air. Well, I think the key point is it's not all out. And, and uh, I think some of the most interesting questions, I had a chance to sit through a fair bit of the testimony this afternoon, but uh, some of the most interesting questions were the ones that the opposition parties asked, knowing immediately, even before they'd asked it, that they weren't going to get an answer, because those things are going to appear in Parliament uh, for the government to be able to, to put pressure on them to say, why can't the former minister speak My about this? Why can't the former minister speak about that? And so, uh, as I say, if they thought it was going to make it go away, uh, it's not going to make it go away. It, it may have identified how bad the problem was. Patrick, thank you so much for talking with me today. My pleasure, David.